everybody. So I was going to do this video with my makeup today, but my video was getting a little bit long, so I'm just going to do it separate. I have a wonderful friend. Her name is Amber Duskin. I hope, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and she makes soap. And she sent me some for free because she's awesome. And I got to try it out, and my hair is so soft. This is her rainbow sugar scrub. And I used it on my hair like she said and it foams up really really nice and when your hair dries it's so soft I didn't put any conditioner in it it's soft it's shiny I love it um, it is a little harsh so you got to be careful with colored hair it, it, it does kind of strip the color out a little bit but it also like it has a lot of oils in it so it also like repairs wow. your hair oh it smells amazing it smells like fruity pebbles it's so good like, I want to eat it I'm not gonna eat it but I want to here's another sugar scrub that she made this one it's not labeled I don't know what the smell is supposed to be but it reminds me of clean it smells like you would expect clean to smell like and she's got these adorable little soap rocks those are made out of soap and oh it smells so good like clean laundry that's what it smells like and she sent me this it's um Grape Bubblegum Foaming Bubbly Bath Salt. I haven't got to try it yet. I'm so excited to try it. It smells so good. See this little thing in here? Doesn't that look like a gumball? Like, again, like it makes me want to try to eat it. <laughs> it smells exactly like grape bubblegum. Um, she sent me a bunch of bar soap too, and I, I used one of them that I didn't bring in here. And it's uh, bananas and cream. And it's so soft. It left my skin feeling so soft. Like normally I have to put lotion on after taking a bath or a shower or using any kind of soap because it dried my hands out. This soap didn't dry my hands out and it smelled so good. Look how pretty her soaps are. And I'm not opening all of these because I'm gonna use them one at a time. I don't want them to get ruined. This one's great bubble gum. You can smell it right through the package. She also makes solid dish soap. I have never seen solid dish soap before. She sent me two, and one of them my kids swiped because it's yellow and they're using it on their hands, which she said is perfectly fine. Um, but it's yellow, so Ellie took it because that's her favorite. Anyway, this is all handmade, homemade ingredients. She's working on a website Hopefully she'll have one up by the time this video premieres, but if not, I will link her Facebook page. Look how pretty that is. This one is Infinity Soap. And it smells like essential oils. Um, it smells a little bit savory. I'm trying to... Clove oil, that's what it smells like. It smells like cloves. It's so pretty. Yeah, it doesn't say what scent it is but it smells like clothes and then she this one oh my gosh it smells like being out in the woods and look how pretty that is it's a wood grain soap and it does look like wood grain oh my gosh this one is titled mystery soap I'm thinking probably this one is one of her batches that she had just like a bunch of little bits left of different soaps and put it together. This one, this one looks like it got a little bit crushed in shipping. Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty that is. This is also called Infinity Soap. And it, it smells the same. It smells like the clove oil. It's really nice. Nettle, handmade nettle soap. It smells very clean. That one doesn't really have a scent. Just like, it smells like clean laundry. This one is Tropical Soap. This is a no-waste confetti soap blend with scraps from each of my other soaps. A colorful, conscious creation, brightly scented with tropical blends of essential oils. That smells so nice. Look at that. She is like, she is a soap artist. 
This one is called Citrus Blast. It smells like grapefruit. Look how pretty, look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. So pretty, you guys. And this one, also infinity soap. Oh, look at the design. Look at that. And it's like the opposite on the other side. I have no idea how she managed to do that. That is so pretty. And this one smells like cloves, but it's a little lighter on the scent. You guys. Amazing, amazing. amazing. But I would say definitely my favorite one that she sent me is the rainbows. In fact, she said that when she made this, she was inspired by my hair. <laughs> She's like, you're so colorful. I had to make you something really colorful. She uses all food safe dyes. This is like, it's so creamy. And it's got sugar scrub in it, you know, so it's, it's also got like biodegradable glitter. So nice. And it does, it foams up really nice. I'll show you. I'll show you how foamy it is. It foams up really nice. And I found that it foamed up even more when I had it in my hair. You guys, you gotta check her. She's amazing. She's a good friend too. She's a lady I talk to pretty often, pray with. She's she's awesome. Anyway, hopefully she'll have her website done soon and I will link it in the description. And um, yeah, you gotta get some of her soap. If she doesn't have a website done by the time this premieres, um, I will be I will be linking her Facebook page and you can message her to buy some of this these amazing products. It smells so good. Oh, oh my gosh. When I got the package in the mail, as soon as I opened it, you could smell all the wonderful smells. It's so, so nice. Anyway, see you soon.